Hey everyone, Elton here. Today I'll be doing some amateur solder casting using the loss max method, or in this case, the loss PLA method. So I'll be pouring melted solder into a plaster of Paris mold, which I've prepared by burning the PLA part at 300 degrees Celsius in a small kiln. The solder I'm using here is an alloy of lead and tin, which you normally use in soldering electronic components. I've already preheated a batch of solder to about 500 degrees Celsius using a kiln, although you can't see the kiln right now. Alright, so what I have here is a plaster of Paris mold with a mold shape like a gear, and this shape came from a 3D printed gear. The next to it is a copper foil mold, which is for my excess solder. Here is a beaker of solder in liquid state, and I'm going to carefully pour it into the mold. There you go. Nice. Alright, looks good. Now to pour the excess into the other mold. Oh, the smoke bellowing out of the plaster mold is caused by the unburned PLA. And apparently this shows that I didn't get to burn out all of the PLA. Right, that's all the solder I have. So now to leave it to cool for a few minutes. So I'm back after 5 minutes and I even uh, drench the copper mold with some water. Here it is, all cool and solid. I can even hold it without burning my fingers. And let's get this solder ingot out. This uh, ingot takes a bit of effort because uh, solder tends to stick to copper quite well. Alright. Here we go. There's my ingot. So here's a nice solder ingot from the excess solder. I could use it for another casting project at another time, but for now let's put it to one side. Let's take a look at our plaster mold. It's a bit hot, so I'm going to probe the solder with a screwdriver. Seems to have solidified. But anyway, about the plaster mold, basically what I did was to print the part out. In this case, a gear with a 3D printer. And then prepare a batch of plaster of Paris by mixing in water and plaster. I then prepare a square container using a piece of cardboard strip and scotch tape, hence the cube-like shape. I then pour the slurry and push the printed part into the slurry from the top. After the plaster dries, I remove the cardboard container and then place it in a kiln at 300 degrees for half an hour, allowing the PLA shape to burn out, leaving nothing in the end. So what I get is a plaster mold with a shape of a gear. So I'm back with a big ass hammer. So since the plaster of Paris uh, cast is quite fragile, I don't really need to hammer it that hard. I just need to tap it out, so let's give it a few taps. There you go. Alright, looking good there. Not too shabby. I really got the shape that I wanted, I guess. So let's uh, pound out more of the plaster terrace. Okay, there you go. It's that fragile. Oh, the solder part is still hot. Let's try getting more rid of the plaster. I must well get a plier to crush out the excess. So yeah, here we go. A 3D a printed uh, casting of a gear. There seem to be some excess uh, plaster which is hard to remove. I guess I'll just wash it down with some water. So here's the casted out uh, part, looks good. You can still see the layering uh, lines from the 3D printed part. So I, uh, the shape looks good, although there's some defects here and there, but it's not too bad. So this is the result of my 3D printed part, which has been casted out using solder. Uh, that's all I can show you for today, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.